welcome to my channel math with nazia in this video we are going to learn the ascending and descending order of fractions so let's start with an example so the first example is 5 by 7 comma 2 by 7 comma 6 by 7 comma 4 by 7 so this is our question so as you could see the denominators are same. We have all the denominators as 7. So since the denominators are same, they are like fractions. I have already explained what are like fractions and unlike fractions in my previous video. You can refer that. The link is given below in the description. So since this is given, it's easy for us to write the ascending or the descending order of like fractions. So first let's write the ascending order. Ascending order is always small to big as it ascends up. It will always ascends up. Ascending order can also be called as increasing order. So increase, how will, an, how will something increase? Something increases from smaller to bigger. So it is easy to remember. Ascending order is always small to big. So the smallest number is 2 by 7 and so with that is the smallest the next smallest is 4 by 7 and the next smallest is 5 by 7 and the next smallest is 6 by 7 so this is the ascending order so when you write it in descending order it's same but the vice versa 6 by 7 is greater than only the symbol changes 5 by 7 is greater than 4 by 7 is greater than 2 by 7. So descending always we descend down. So descending order decreasing order. Decreases how will something decrease? When we have more we keep using it keeps decreasing. So decreasing order or a descending order means from bigger number to a smaller number. So the same rule we have applied here. So isn't it very easy to write the ascending and the descending order of like fractions. So now let's see another example where we have unlike fractions. So let's take the second example. 2 by 9, comma, 2 by 11, comma, 2 by 7, comma, 2 by 5. Now as you could see this question is something different. Here the numerators are all same but the denominators are different so they are not like fractions they are unlike fractions so when we have a different denominators but the numerators are same how will we write an ascending order of this so how will we write the ascending order which is the smallest in this so when we write an ascending order we will see the biggest part so the biggest number is here is 11. So 2 parts out of 11 is the smallest because we are cutting, a, um, for example, let's take a chocolate. So I'm just going to draw a chocolate. And I'm going to cut this into 11 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So they are unequal because I have drawn it just for your understanding. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 parts. So out of this 11 parts, I am just going to shade 2 parts. So this is only this part of the chocolate. The same thing I am going to draw the same chocolate. And now I am going to divide this. The next smaller number is 9. So let me divide this into 9 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and let me make this into 2 parts 9 
so we have nine parts here one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now in this nine parts i'm going to shade two parts so this is slightly bigger than the 11 parts as you could see this is slightly bigger than the 11 parts see when you could see compare the shaded part now same way if i put make it as a seven part seven part will be little more bigger so whenever we have the same numerator and different denominators we will start with the number which has a greater denominator so 2 by 11 is the smallest so 2 by 11 is the smallest of all the next smallest is 2 by 9 and then the next smallest is 2 by 7 and the next smallest is 2 by 5 i hope you have understood the bigger number is always smaller bigger number is a denominator this rule applies only when the numerator is same, not when the numerator is different. Whenever we have the same numerator but different denominators, as you could see here, this chocolate has 11 parts, 2 parts are smaller. But when the chocolate had 9 parts, here, the three parts are, the 2 parts are bigger than these 2 parts. So let's see, let, let me draw another part of chocolate with 7 parts, so which will give you a clear idea. Now I'm going to draw another chocolate with seven parts so that there is no confusion in this. So this is a chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So I think so the last two parts are a little bigger. So now we have seven parts in this chocolate. So now I'm going to just shade two parts out of this. So as you could see, this two parts is bigger than this. This is 2 by 11. So this is 2 by 11. This is 2 by 9. And this is 2 by 7. As you could see, 2 by 11 is the smallest. 2 by 9 is little more bigger. And 2 by 7 is little more bigger than that. So, you can write this way as the ascending order. Now, let's see the descending order. Descending order will be the vice versa of that. So, we can tell it as 2 by 5 parts is greater than 2 by 7 parts, which is greater than 2 by 9 parts and which is greater than 2 by 11 parts. So, isn't it easy? Whenever we have the same numerator, different denominators, the number which is a bigger denominator is always the smallest. So you can just remember this chocolate example so that it is easy for us to do the question. So this is another uh, question which is a little different. So we have a number 1 by 2 comma 2 by 3 comma 1 by 5. So when we have a number like this here neither the numerators are same nor the denominators are same. So these are unlike fractions. Whenever we get this type of fractions, we have to find the LCM. I think you all remember how do we find the LCM. I have already explained the three methods to find an LCM. One was the factor tree method. One is the prime. The second one is the prime factorization method. And the third is the listing method. So whichever is easy for you, you can find the LCM by that. And if you want to refer my previous video, the link will be given in the description. You can refer that. So let me directly find the LCM of this using the prime factorization method. Just for a revision, let's do it. So we have to find the LCM of 2, 3 and 5. As you could see, all these are different numbers. We don't have anything common. So we, need, we can't find an LCM for this. So we directly, whenever we can't find an LCM, when we don't have a common divisor, what we will do is we multiply the denominators. So the LCM of 2, 3 and 5 will be 30. So now we have found the LCM. So let's make all this to a like fraction. So 1 by 2, we have to make it as 30. So this will be multiplied by 15. The numerator also will be multiplied by 15. So this has become 15 by 30. Now 2 by 3. Again we have to make this also as 30. 
times 10 and times 10. So this becomes 20 by 30 and 1 by 5 also have to become 30. So times by 6 and times by 6, 6. We have already done this type of a question. So now as you could see 15 by 30, 20 by 30 and 6 by 30. Now all this have become a like fraction. Now we know how to write the ascending order when we have a like fraction. So the ascending order would be 6 by 30 is less than 15 by 30 which is less than 20 by 30. Either you can write like this or you can write the original number which is given. So 6 by 30 is 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 is smallest of all. Then it is 1 by 2. Then it is 2 by 3. And descending order is a vice versa. So I'm not going to write it now. So whenever we have an unlike fraction, we have to take an LCM and then find out the uh, ascending order, the descending order. Now let's do another example. So our fourth example for today would be, this is also an unlike fraction. So 8 by 21, 3 by 7, 1 by 3, and 1 by 9. Here we have four different numbers and all these are unlike fractions. Neither the denominator is same nor the numerator is same. So now let's quickly find the LCM for this. Let's do the prime factorization method because here we have a common divisor. 21, 7 or 3 and 9 all have some common divisor. Let's, so let's find the LCM of 21, 7, 3 and 9. So as you could see here, it is divisible either by 3 or by 7. So first let me take 7 because 21 and 7 are divisible in 7. So here it would be 3, 1 and this 3 and 9 I will remain, keep it as such. Now let's again uh, divide this by 3. I hope you all remember this prime factorization method. 1, 1, 1 and then 3. And again the last step with 3, 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1. So we will finish it till we have 1. So now, so the LCM is 7 times 3 times 3. So 7 times 3 times 3 that is 7 times 9 which is 63. So now our LCM is 63. Now let's change the unlike fractions to like fractions. So 8 by 21 have to become 63. So 21 times 3. So the same thing I'll be doing with the numerator. So which is 24. 24 by 63. Now it is 3 by 7. 7 has to become 63. So let's multiply this by 9. So 3 times 9 is 27. Now 1 by 3 has to become 63 so I'll multiply this by 21 so here 21 by 63 and the last number is 1 by 9 1 by 9 also have to become 63 so this would be multiplied by 7 so 7 times 1 is 7 so now we have got our numbers now let's write in ascending order so ascending order is smaller number to a bigger number so when you see the answers the like fractions which we have got the smallest part is 7 by 63. So I'll write 7 by 63 is smaller than, the next smallest is, yes, it's 21. 21 by 63 and the next smallest is 24 by 63 and the next smallest is 27 by 63. Either you can leave it like this or you can write the numbers which were actually given which is 1 by 9 less than 21 is 1 by 3, less than 1 by 3, less than 8 by 21, less than 3 by 7. So this is the ascending order. When we write the descending order, it is just the YC versa. We can write it as 3 by 7, greater than 8 by 21, greater than 1 by 3, greater than 1 by 9. So isn't it very easy to find the LCM? Make it into a like fraction and then write the ascending and descending order of fractions. 
so if you have any queries regarding this topic comment down in the comment section and for more tips and tricks do like and subscribe to my channel thank you